joining me from the video, if you're joining me for the first time, hello! Well, it's been a while. I did take a bit of a break from YouTube. Um, I had started a new job. Um, kids are getting, especially Esther is getting into a lot of teams and things at school and um, I had a lot going on. So YouTube has taken a bit of a step back and I was waiting for my trip to Japan. So I've gone on my trip to Japan. Check out my Instagram if you want to see some of the other things I got, you know, anime related, um, plushies, Pokemon <laughs> books, etc. A lot of that stuff's pushed off to the side at the moment as I've gone um, through. But I know what most of you lords and ladies want to see, which is the dolls I purchased, specifically the hinged and strung BJDs. Um, I'm going to go through them all. They're all official. Um, why? why you would buy unofficial in Japan but um, I can say that even in the secondhand stores in Japan a lot of them had signs saying no certificate no sale so I have all the certificates um, to the side here the ones I brought new the ones I brought secondhand etc um, I've got them so that's good <laughs> Now, uh, I'm going to start off with the smaller dolls. So something which I didn't take out of the box at the moment, um, I will actually do an unboxing of her, is my Kiki Pop. Now, a lot of the dolls I have um, taken out of box because especially with the larger dolls, and I have quite a few, um, the, they were very hard to, hard to pack into my luggage. But one of my wants while I was over there is I wanted the face I call it the ooh face I think it's called the pop star face I can't remember for Kiki Pop you know there's that funny like W face I already have a, a sunny bunny date um, Kiki Pop with that face so I wanted one which had the other facial expression uh, so we went through into the official A zone store and we went through all the Kiki Pops there was a lot <laughs> they were all so cute but a lot of them were very much on the sunny bunny date side very uh, pinks, very bright, very in-your-face um, colors. She stood out as something a bit more subdued, something, there's something very, very pretty about her, but she stands out from the other Kiki Pops also in that she doesn't stand out. She is not in your face. She's absolutely gorgeous, but she's not like the green one here where it just like pops. She's kind of like in the background sort of character. And I love that about her. The Sunny Bunny Date one is so cute and in your face. I love that there's one that's a bit more toned back, a, a bit more daring. And of course, red is my favorite color. So she's got a bit more reds on her. And she has these gorgeous, gorgeous um, uh, deep, well, they're not a deep bright pink. They're a deep faded pink almost pigtails on her so I'm looking forward to opening her and I could bring her back in box thank goodness so Kiki Pop was definitely on my list now something which I changed for something else was another official Blythe was on my list to purchase while I was over there but but I couldn't find a Blythe in box that I liked or a secondhand out of box Blythe that I liked they were very, I have an official Blythe, um, I think it's a strawberry one, I just, I know she's in storage somewhere, but um, I just couldn't find one I connected with, however, I did connect with the little fairies, now I, I have a little fairy, I've done her in some photographs on Instagram, etc, but she's more of a realistic sort of little fairy in that she's dressed with a little hat and etc like this, I wanted one of the candy, the sweets girls, but they were all sold out, the A-Zone one. So in the A-Zone store, they're all sold out. Um, this one I took the plastic out of because I fitted in some things around her <laughs> for luggage space since she had such a lot of plastic and such a little doll. Um, but this is a Twinkle Candy Girls. She's really, really cute. I think her name is E-W-N-O. Uno? Uno, I, it's a weird name, it sounds like Uno the game, but Uno, um, and she was just so cute and I connected with her, so we, uh, my best friend brought me her for my birthday, <laughs> she's very, very cute, so instead of a Blythe, I got an A-Zone little fairy, alright, so next on my list, um, and that I got from the official A-Zone store, was I wanted a one-third BJD. Now there was one which initially I saw, she was a ginger, she had a red, um, it wasn't plaid, checkered, red checkered um, 
dress on and I fell in love with her as soon as I saw her with her green eyes etc I'm glad I didn't get her because I asked the girl and the girl said I'm sorry she sold out now kind of when I don't get what I want I do get bummed <laughs> I am used to getting what I want huh? spoiled brat um but then I had a look around and I saw this girl and she fits perfectly into what I want for my Smart Doll City. She has a more of the narrow anime face which goes well with Smart Doll and I thought I need a Smart Doll actress, like someone who's a bit la di da and out there, someone who would have a maid. And I was going to make one of my Smart Dolls a maid but I didn't know who and I... but. Now I know. So this is Rira. Where's her certificate? Uh, I think it's Rira. Uh, yeah, Re Rira. Um, and she is perfect. So she is smaller, I believe, than my smart doll in stance. She may, yeah, I think she is. And she has that narrow face. A lot of the Dolphy dreams, apart from the boy that I've got here, have larger anime faces, so they can't really fit into my smart doll world because as little sisters because their faces are so wide. But um yeah, this is perfect. And she came with this outfit, so she's like a wolf maid. She's got these ears on and she has this silly tail. <laughs> sticks out the back here. <laughs> I got it from the official store. I absolutely love her. I'm so glad the other one was sold out. Otherwise, I would have seen her afterwards and I would have had like one of those things where I've gone, oh my gosh, I brought one, but I like the other one. <laughs> this one actually fits into my smart doll land. Um, even though she's not a smart doll, she'll fit into the story. Look at this outfit that came with her. Like she came with all this outfit, these stockings and these shoes. And then I know my friend, he would have just been like, oh, well, we're just getting them both. And I don't like when he does that because it means he spends a lot more money on me. So he brought me this one as part of my birthday present as well. Very, very cute. Love her, love her. I am going to be calling her Fleur. Fleur is a very pretty name. And for some reason, it stayed with me when I thought of her. So she is absolutely Fleur. She is going to be my maid girl. She's going to be very happy with her job as a maid. Okay, so something I brought myself, and I'm going to be honest, a doll type I never thought I would actually ever buy. Now, if you're not familiar with them, I suggest you get on the good old Google and have a look at Angel, Angel Philia, P-H-I-L-A, L-I-A. Um, they get a lot of stick in the doll world. I'm trying to keep that up a bit. <laughs> A lot of stick in the doll world as being a bit saucy which they are they are a lot more saucy than other dolls out there and um, their faces and poses etc um, can be taken as something not try child friendly but I'm an adult doll collector so I personally don't mind if it's not child friendly <laughs> And when I saw them, I've seen them in photos, and when I've seen them in photos, I've always thought, no, not for me, it's a bit a bit strange, actually, you know. <laughs> I, but I have seen a lot of females that collect these dolls, and a lot of females that put these dolls down. I had never seen one in real life, and when I saw them, I thought, they're so incredibly different. And there are girls who have made them not saucy, like, you know, they put like lollipops on their thing and made them more like teenagery and all that sort of stuff. Um, one thing that surprised me when I brought her was she doesn't actually come with a wig, so I had to buy a wig separately. She does come with eyes and um, different hand, two different hand poses, but she does not come with a wig, which was surprising to me. She also came with a certificate, etc. Um, I actually really, really like this doll. It's surprising. My friend, not so much, which is why I had to buy this one. <laughs> he, 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 he still thinks it looks a bit too risque. But um, the idea I have for her, I'm hoping works out quite well. Again, it is a smaller face anime, semi-anime style face on, on this one um, that might be able to be incorporated into my Smart Doll City as a character from out of town or something, I don't know. Angel Town, the, the one across the way. Um, <laughs> the one that has all the casinos and the um, the bars and things. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, they also got a very squishy body. See the thighs here? 
but it gives them tone actually it gives them tone I love their hand detailing that they have little hands their chest size her chest side is very very big the first and um, one of the things was with the box when she's all in her box and I was buying her I could not see the size of her chest and the clothes I picked out for her originally the young attendant came out who was an English speaker thank goodness and basically was like yeah I you need to get something stretchy because uh, yeah that standard stuff will not fit her and I was like oh oh goodness so I've picked stuff and I'm hoping it works and I hope you like the wig I picked for her with this ponytail and this part I think it goes with her really really well very very cute kind of uh, she's going to be a teenager she's going to be a teenager who is um you know coming out of her shell and all that sort of stuff um i haven't picked a name for her yet um oh no we did my friend and i did tammy tammy something tammy lee tammy something oh it's on instagram i'll find it but yeah her name is tammy we did pick one for her <laughs> And, and uh, yeah, she's so she's very different to anything else I have in my ball jointed doll collection, especially with my strung dolls. I have a lot of dolls which are quite uh, realistic and things like that, and some that are quite busty and all that sort of stuff, but I don't have anything like her that's kind of quite out there. So that was all from the A-Zone store that I got. Um, I'm going to save my favorite doll to last. So, what did I get next? Oh, let's grab her. Okay, so I got all the certificates that come with this one. I think this might be a doll zone store. I can't be bothered going through the papers from Dolk. I think it has a Dolk certificate, actually. Yeah. Um, anyway, I wanted an animal, anthropomorphic um, type ball jointed doll. So this is strung. I wanted it to be strung, etc. And um, I wanted something very, very cute um, and a bit mystical because if you know my smart doll city, I do have some fantasy dolls in the blues and the greys and there is one called Celeste. Um, and I wanted some like strange like little alien creature that she could talk to and this is really, really cute. It kind of goes with her theme of blues. So this one here I got from Dolteria, which is a secondhand doll store. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus, please. Aha, I got focus. <laughs> so I love the ears and coloring. There was a blue one in this blue to purple coloring and there was an orange one in the orange coloring. Um, I loved this coloring. Um, it very much goes with Celeste Seams um, who with her blue skin, etc. Um, I don't think I'll put it in my Smart Doll Stories, but it's something I can use in a photo shoot or something like that. It's very, very cute. Um, the ears, of course, are removable. I'll put that back in there. Um, and she has a little tail in the back here. Very, very cute. It's, as I said, blues and purples and it's got little stars and things all over her. She is just adorable. So this was chosen originally as my animal choice doll while I was over there. It's very um, small, you know, it's a smaller one, etc. But very, very cute. Love the face up on it. Love the coloring, etc. Um, and the thing with Doll Terrier is they won't buy secondhand dolls unless they have certificates and they do a lot of checking I can say that I saw them <laughs> when they were trying to purchase dolls and they do a lot of checking Astra likes this doll but she doesn't like the paws let me know what you think I think the paws are really cute and they kind of add to the animal theme with the the purples and the blues and the big gold claws on it but yeah no she thought it would be better with human hands but I actually think it adds to the theme so I'm going to get her a little bob wig I think maybe maybe something in a white or potentially a very soft blue to add to her but that was my animal choice doll until something else happened so that was from Dolteria as I said the secondhand doll store let's get up to oh Dolteria as we're on there this is of course a very easy to recognize Dolphy dream this is ribbon this is Ribbon. So there is Ribbon and, uh, and um, what's the other one? Color or something? Now look, I'm going to make say something a bit silly. There is Ribbon and Colon on the English site. They did not translate the other one's name quite well and it really irked me, which is why I never brought Ribbon and Colon because I don't want a doll called Colon. <laughs> 
written up in my doll uh, in my BJD books. But um, I know it's meant to be a different color. But um, yeah, that's the way it translates on the English site. Anyway, ribbon was in Dolteria, and she was two hundred dollars cheaper than if I just went up the escalator to the Dolphy Dream Store and brought her from there. So I was like, yeah, can I have that one? And and it went. I was actually really surprised at how much the turnover of dolls and um, doll terrier was. But yeah, I grabbed her straight away. Uh, she, her joints are nice and stiff. She's got her little nighty and undies on. There is nothing wrong with her. Like I said, her joints are stiff. That was my worry is when I got her that she was going to be a loosey-goosey. But no, she is absolutely lovely. And for the sake of saving $200, Absolutely. So my best friend brought me her and this little kitty from Dolteria for my birthday. A lot of these were brought for my birthday by my best friend because he's awesome and he absolutely feeds my addiction. <laughs> um, and there were ones that, uh, there's my favorite one coming up soon. But uh, yeah, it was this was about my birthday, which is in July. And he figured, well, might as well spend your birthday money while you're there. Uh, yeah, I was very happy to get her for two hundred dollars less because I was actually going to buy her at full price, and he got her um, for me down there. Okay, so something that I absolutely had to do while I was over there is they have special things you can only get through the custom-made service was custom Dolphy Dream dolls. So for my birthday, my friend shouted me to one custom Dolphy Dream doll. Now this color here is only available through the um, the custom service very bright yellow very bright yellow I chose yellow eyes to go with it I was originally going to take this wig off her and put her in something a bit more um, a bit more apricotty or um, light brown but it's actually kind of growing on me I'm gonna look for a dress well I've got lots of clothes to choose from I'm gonna look for something that really complements this yellow this bright yellow in her eyes and on her hair um, so this is the custom. We chose an open mouth with teeth partially showing on the custom service. And um, of course you get the standard nighty that they all come with. And uh, yeah, little chubby thighs. Oh, your chubby thighs are so cute. You are so adorable. So these ones here, um, their faces, oh, sorry, I've been holding her off screen. I wasn't even looking. These ones here, um, their faces are way too wide, really, to be a smart doll, especially semi-real ones, um, little sisters. Um, I was actually kind of surprised that they, they were a bit wider than I thought they would be, but it's no biggie. They can be part of some other universe. I'll come up with something or maybe when I get them dressed, they will kind of fit into that little sister role. But at the moment, they're just too chunky to be a little sister to Smart Doll. Um, very, very cute. So that was the one my friend uh, shouted to me with her. Now, I was going to make her another character in my Smart Doll land, but as I said, they're too big for um, little sisters for my Smart Dolls, in my opinion. So, um, I'm going to make, call her something else and uh, find a, a purpose for her, but her and Ribbon are going to be very close friends. So cute! <laughs> so incredibly cute! I mean, super duper cute! <laughs> So, um, as well as my friend buying me a custom service, I wanted to buy one myself. Um, try and get them in camera here. So this is a Dolphy Dream Boy. This is my first boy BJD doll, which I absolutely love. I have strung border to doll boys that I'm so meh over. There's a lot of um, smart doll boys that people have customized that I've been very meh over. Um, there are a lot of ones that I like too, but um, I have to say the fact that I could make him exactly as I envisioned my boy to be helped a lot. This, I've already named him, his name's Quinn. He has red eyes and this blue hair and I love the face up we chose. My friend and I chose this face up. Originally we chose a different face up and then it was kind of like eh, but we changed it to this one and it just goes so well with those eyes and the hair. I don't know, he's definitely gonna be part of my Smart Doll City. Um, I don't have a Smart Doll boy in there. Apparently near impossible to get. <laughs> so um, I was, very very happy with this purchase um, hands standard hinged BJD sort of joints nice and stiff um, big boy so he's gonna stand nice and clear next to my smart dolls already getting a couple of marks on them Dolphy dream 
is notorious for staining easier than a lot of dolls that I know. Um, these aren't my first Dolphy Dreams by a long shot. Um, yeah, so <laughs> he is uh, gorgeous and I absolutely love him and I lo hope you love Quinn too. Um, I haven't picked who out of my smart dolls is getting him first. I've considered making him Tiffany's husband. I've considered him making Casey's boyfriend. I've considered making him just his own character who just kind of exists in the world and maybe a relationship will develop with one of the smart dolls. I'm not sure. But that is my first smart doll city boy. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> I am so happy with him. So, so happy. But that does not take away from my favorite birthday present. This doll is basically from my grail list. Now this is a doll which I was actually going to order and then I forgot and by the time I got around, remembered and got around to it, anyone who knows me knows I love rabbits. Taru, as soon as my friend saw her, he's like, hey, haven't you been looking for this rabbit doll? And I was like, oh my god, it's Taru! She was in the dog store um, at the back. Um, she was dressed in like a white frilly thing, um, which I didn't like so I took it off her <laughs> but yeah this is one of my gray dolls and this is me this doll is me this is Taru um, she is a rabbit doll obviously she has movable ears the coloring on her is supreme the face up is amazing I brought new anime eyes to put on her these light blues that really really sparkle um, the, I just the face up is beautiful um, I'm gonna show you there and it has um she's a doll soul doll Doll zone, sorry, doll zone, um, doll. Ah! And I'm just gonna go break her head right off camera there. Um, <laughs> and so I don't believe this is her body that she officially came with. I'm not sure, but um, it doesn't really matter. The whole thing was, she looks amazing. I loved her as she is. She has this little dress here, which we I went out and specifically went out to all the stores. I could not find anything in the official stores that I really liked for her. But then this was in Dolteria um, as a secondhand dress. It is slightly, the colors on it are slightly, slightly faded. But it's not faded from the sun. It's meant to be that way. But it goes with the oranges and pinks under her eyes so well with the white lace. And then look at the green on here. This is a weird sort of color green. They had matching green shoes. So it's almost like um, as he was looking for socks, I spotted these green shoes because I was worried about what shoes I was going to get. And they match the green on the outfit. It's almost like it, it was all meant to be sort of thing. So we brought her from Dog. My friend brought her for my birthday. And he knows that she is my favorite find out of all the things we got in June. Um, obviously, I've got Disney. I've got anime. <laughs> got Super Mario Land stuff. Got Pop Mart. Got a whole bunch of things. But this doll here just completed me. I, as soon as I got her, I said, I don't even care if I don't get anything else. Um, I, this is all I need. It's Taru and I've renamed her, well actually her make is Taru, I've named her Noah which is Japanese to, to love or for love or something like that, something to do with love and so she is Noah for me now and she's my me doll like I think she will yellow very fast because she is going to go everywhere with me <laughs> and I don't care about yellowing. Honestly yellowing just means you play with them and you love them. People that lock their dolls away and cupboards and boxes and things like that it's it's not my scene darling if that's your scene that's your scene go with it but it's not my scene dolls for me are meant to be loved and enjoyed and dressed and played with and taken outside and used that is their entire purpose to me they are a therapy in some ways for me um and i love them so now that we've gone through all the dolls that i got the bjds let's move them that way and i'll grab this bunch of clothes and we can go through that Okay, doll clothes, wee! So fun, because it means we get to dress them and undress them and play with them and all sorts of things. All right, so some of these were brought officially from stores. Some of them were brought from, well, officially from secondhand stores. And um, like I said, a lot of the doll places I went in Japan was like no certificate, no no sale, um, basically. And they knew their products. They really knew their products. So let's go through some of the stuff. This I brought from the official Dolphy Dream store. 
it is a cute little girl set which I may put one of my girls into I'm really into fluffy and cute and this to me was fluffy and cute especially with that hat oh my gosh so cute okay I've scraped them a bit more this way so I can throw them that way um a few of these things I'll bring up these were actually from the Sanrio store that came in packs that had like little um there'll be there's a gachapon haul up there I'm going to show that because um in another video because I know how expensive doll accessories especially food and cups and stuff can be I see people paying 20 to 30 dollars US for cups you can get them from the gachapons for three dollars 300 yen it I'm going to show you ladies um, how to save some money. Um, 3D printing is a real thing um, for those that have it and those that don't. And those that have it can charge astronomical pro prices but you can get things to um, you know fit purposes. So these things I'm all going to, they've got a little loop at the side here and a little loop here. I'm going to put little ribbons through and make um, bags for my dolls. So that's a Kurumi bag for one of my girls. Here is another one I got from the Dolphy Dream store. So it's this red. Now I always say blacks, reds and dark greens, very careful with, they stain easily. But it has white inside. It's lined with white and it has this little white shirt and this little black tie thing here. Very, very cute. I love it. Um, I'm going to try it on one of my girls. I'm just going to be very conscious that I may need to put um, a skin suit on her before this because even though it has this white you can see where the red can potentially still touch the skin and as I said my experience with Dolphy Dreams is they stain a lot lot easier than Smart Dolls or even some strung BJDs um, obviously the skin tone always matters and the um, dye type if you're getting dark clothing or no, any sort of layer of black always wash it and squeeze it and when the water runs clear put it on your doll still expect it to stain somewhat so just be careful with those colors so another one i got from the vault store so the dolphy dream store i call it the dolphy dream store but it's vault basically um most of you will know that another little one it was this blue dress with this white shirt and this collar obviously a white petticoat underneath you can see they're using lots of whites under to protect the dolls because even they will have up on their sites that you know these expect things to stain colors to stain but that was a really cute set and i may try i'm actually gonna try that on the yellow haired one the custom i got because i think that will actually the blue will complement the white really well oh i got this from the a zone store um this is an a zone uh yellow jumper i like the color i like the the turn down turtleneck style so i brought that one um a few of these my friend paid for as well i'm just gonna say i got them all even away this is also from the vault stoffy dream store it's got little kitty ears and a little face mask which i thought the face mask was adorable um i'm gonna try it on one of my little dolls so yep got that one uh another one of the sanrio bags this is pom pom pudding i believe so again, they've got the little hooks at the side, gonna make it into, put ribbons through or a chain and make it into a little purse for my dolls. This here is from Disneyland. Um, I've featured these before. If you're looking for Mickey Mouse ears, they have these um, in decoration form in Florida. I think we got a heap of them and I showed them. Um, they have these in Kiche form in Japan. This is a 40 the celebration ears and they fit smart dolls really well they fit the head like this they hold in nice and tight they don't pop off they're very very good so i'm going to take off that keychain part uh, this actually came with the you can see the uh the fabric here with um noah's dress so it came with this like weird sort of headband i'll use it for another doll but um yeah it's not really my thing <laughs> i didn't put it on her because she doesn't need it um she's got big ears Okay, so a little wig I got from, ooh, where did I get this one from? Oh, Mandaraki. So Mandaraki is another secondhand store. This one, yeah, it was 1500 yen, I think. It's a little pigtail one. Um, I'm not sure who I'm going to use this on. I, I think I brought it to try it on the cat, but then it's pointless because the pigtails are going to be where the ears are. So I'll find somewhere for this. I might put it on one of my little one six dolls or something like that uh, for one of my little one eighths. I believe this is a 1 8 size or a 1 12th, I can't remember. But um, yeah, this little apricot one, I have a few dolls of this size that don't have hair because I find I have wigs for them and they always pop off. So I'm forever in search of little wigs that actually fit them. 
So that was that there. <laughs> this came out of a gachapon. It is a little chicken headed hoodie. So um, yeah, I'll try and add some of my tops. It's just something stupid I brought. I was like, ah, oh, $3. Um, <laughs> we'll give it a go. What's this one? Oh, that's a sticker from one of the pop marks I got. We'll get that off. These. These, 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 these. Now I got these from all these little things here from the Sanrio store. These here are meant to be for their little plushies, but these will actually fit, I'm pretty sure, like the Dolphy Dream Girls back there. If I either make a slight adjustment, but they are official and they are gorgeous. So this one I think is the Welcome Bunny or Welcome Me or something. Oh, Wish Me Well. Wish Me Well Bunny, who I didn't even know was a Sanrio character until I went to Japan and I went to Sanrio Land, which is where I grabbed all these things. Kurumi, obviously, because it is my daughter's favorite. I thought she was meant to be a cat. As just say, she's a little devil. Um, Kurumi, I can say, was a huge favorite while over there. So many girls just decked out in Kurumi. There's this little overcoat here, which went with the Wish Me Well rabbits. I've got this thing at the back. So it's a little accessory you can use with maybe a pink dress or even a white dress. Uh, same with this little overcoat crew, little shawl kind of thing, I should say, with Kurumi on. Very cute. And as I said, they're official products, so that makes them more thing. Another little purse that I'm going to attach a chain to. I want a chain for this one. Um, it actually opens up like this instead of in the front like the other ones. And uh, yeah, make a little bag. Could do it with that Kurumi hat for a little bit of cosplay. A uh, shawl thing. Um, too big for most of these dolls here, but I could use it maybe on my K Wigs elf girl. Yeah, I could use it on there. And a little My Melody one, because um, My Melodies like, seem like the same. I was very surprised in Hello Kitty Land how many My Melody and Kurumi fans there were going around dressed up and how little Hello Kitty ones there <laughs> were. It was bizarre. <laughs> well, even my friend noticed it and commented on it. Oh, I see another one. Here is the My Melody one. So again, I could make like a Kurumi cosplay for one of the girls and a My Melody cosplay for one of the girls and just make them super cute, my little Dolphy Dream girls there. Okay, so on to another one that I got from Volx, Dolphy Dream, um, is this shirt. This may be slightly large for him. Now, I'm not too worried and that I do have another male strung BJD I could possibly use this with. But I'm going to say this. I was slightly disappointed in the lack of male clothes as opposed to the female clothes. Now, I understand because I prefer female dolls that, you know, people are going to go mostly for the female dolls. That's just the way it is. But, um, yeah, it was very hard. So, I actually had one of the guys, I couldn't find pants anywhere that fit him, but um, one of the store clerks brought me this and said this, one, obviously I'm not going to have him in the frilly top, but this pants here will fit him well. I'm going to have to take off the little pearls at the side, I don't think he's that la da my darlings, but um, yeah, I thought these were nice pants for him, and it has this little frilly top which I could use with a dolly. But uh, yeah, that was all the store clerk could find <laughs> even to fit him with something that was obviously more orientated for a female. This one here, you can see ribbon down in here from Vaults. It's a little kitty like overcoat with a um, ballerina type skirt and socks and necklace. Very cute. Most likely going to put one of them in that for display. Ah, this here I brought for my Angel Philippa. It's quite um, filia. It's quite stretchy, so hopefully it's going to contain that bust of hers in. And I thought it was quite cute in that it wasn't too saucy. It was kind of like t-shirty, but long t-shirty, and dressy, but not sexy, if that makes sense. Um, so I got her that. Now what else? We got another little My Melody purse to go with the My Melody top. We have a couple of shoes here. One for one of my little Dolphy Dream girls here. I really like these shoes and they go with that first outfit I had with the um, frills. We've got a couple. Oh, these are for my Angel Philly, Philly girl. Um, I hope they fit. We So we got these from A-Zone. Um, they might be 
No, I'm pretty sure these will fit. Um, these should fit my Angel Affiliated Girl. They're high heeled, they're ribboned, and I think they'll go well with that top. We also got her some stockings somewhere. I don't know if I pulled them out. Another thing we got from A-Zone was this cute little skirt. Cute colors, so I like it. And socks from A-Zone. That's probably to go with Angel Filia's one. One twelfth shoes, because these are freaking impossible to find anywhere. And when you do find them, you lose them or the cat eats them. <laughs> Dull stuff. Um, this one here. Where do we get this from? Oh, this is another one from the A-Zone store. I'm going to put this under her white dress. So it has like a hint of that, which means that it goes with those brown shoes and the white long sh top should come up to here which will go with the white socks with the brown shoes it should all tie in and look nice i'm very teenagery if it doesn't eh, i tried another pair of shoes here from which ones are these shoes boutique i'm pretty sure these are from um from volk stoffy dream these little purple ones here i think i brought these to go with the cat top because they're really cute uh, this was from Dolteria, was it? Or was it Mandaraki? No, this is a Mandaraki one. I really like this one. Um, it's a bit flu -fru -fru, flu -fru, a bit flu -fru. And I looked at it for ages and I could not decide. And I said to my friend, no, I think if I leave it here, I'm always going to think about it. But I am going to take off like these silly little things that have stuck all over it just to make it even more frou-frou like even this here I might take off these blue beads because I don't understand the purpose however the actual fabric of this ribbon with this blue and the lace on this dress and there's a little keychain um, thing that goes with it really appeals to me I like the coloring in this dress so I grabbed that tried on one of my dolls not obviously not all these dolls are going to go in all these outfits I have a lot of doll clothes I'm just going to have a play I'm going to have a play ladies and lords um, okay, we got another Volks one. Now this one here, I believe he got for Ribbon. Was it Ribbon? No. I can't remember. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, the, I think this is for Ribbon. It looks small in the package, but they're actually quite wide. Yeah, I think that he grabbed that for me for some reason. I can't remember the shop attendant did. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so we're down to the last of it here. Oh, this I grabbed for the boy from uh, Folks. This jacket, I thought it was super cool. I hope it's not going to be too big on him. But I really, really like this jacket. And so I thought with that with the white pants and some sort of color in his shirt underneath, hopefully it'll make it all tie in really well. If it doesn't, well, it's a cool outfit I can stick on someone else. We've got a pom-pom pudding little overshawl there another one of these mickey mouse keychains now this one i really like because it's got the blues um which was the theme of a certain mickey mouse thing going on there uh with mickey and minnie uh this is from sanrio so this one is a little tiny umbrella which will go well with my one six dolls um not so much within me only with the cat really <laughs> would only really work with the cat but it has like the characters on and I have my little one six girls uh, strung BJDs who I think will look absolutely gorgeous underneath that. And we got ah, stockings because you can never have enough and a one twelfth um, socks to go with the one twelfth shoes because same issue they disappear those tiny things I don't know where they go I have containers for everything and stuff disappears and I always come back I have the socks in the sock washing machine and the socks in the containers. Okay so yes was all from Dolteria. So these were the, was a secondhand haul um, that I purchased for myself. Now part of the reason of this was I fell in love with this one outfit. So this is just layers. Oh my god. So you've got your your poof. I, I call it, it's the um, mesh thing, you know, like a petticoat. But it's basically to poof out this. So we've got this like silky fabric here. And we've got the it's not a peach really, it's peachy pink um, overskirt and then this blue overskirt at here. So you can see it's very, very, well it's not really matronly, but it is kind of giving those themes of that era. Uh, that's the skirt and it has this top. 
and together it was on a little mannequin thing they had and I was like I have to have it I have to have it I don't I, I have to have it this is the top with the little corset and the blues and the pinks to tie everything in now this may actually go on my strung BJD um, she's a doll family she is very yellowed I've showed her in things before she has been everywhere with me um, and this may go on her uh, she is a doll family before BJD's had to make certificates to prove they were authentic. That's how old she is. The original BJD's did not need certificates because there was nothing else like them. Fakes did not exist on eBay anywhere. And I don't even, Etsy didn't even exist. <laughs> That's a very long time ago. That's how old Wednesday is. All right. This little one here I thought was so cute. I grabbed this for one of my little one six girls. It is just adorable, the colours and the cupcakes and the berries and things like this. I absolutely love that. Came with these little socks that go with it. Cute. Uh, I don't know who these socks go. Oh, they must go with this outfit. Um, oh, and this was part of that outfit there. And this was part of that outfit there. So you've got all matching colours, headbands. So, and then there was these little purple shoes, which I grabbed. I don't remember why. <laughs> <laughs> little purple shoes I think they were so cheap that I grabbed them just in case I need them for one of the dolls so these you can see the little stars on the stockings like little clips on the stockings these go with this dress which is another one that I just absolutely had to grow and um, grab either for my my yeah for my strung dolls more than anything but I absolutely love it it is so cute there's little stars everywhere it's white it's fluffy it's perfect loved it what's this down here oh that's something completely different and that also came with this little starry clip on hat so i got those outfits from the second hand store very cheap much cheaper than for me to buy and import to new zealand the last thing i have to show is not actually anything doll related it is uh got from a boutique store this little slice of lemon uh orange i should say <laughs> necklace for me <laughs> so that can go over in the stuff that doesn't matter too much but yeah, so that was all my doll haul from um, my dolls that I got, my dolls that my best friend brought me for my birthday, the doll clothes we got together and accessories. Uh, there is going to be a Gachapon video, which has a lot of doll accessories that are very cheap, 300 yen each. And, you know, uh, you can pay like, as I said, I've seen things on Etsy for 20 to 30 US for them and I just think to myself no th th there there is a limit um anyway that is my dolls that is my doll clothes <laughs> I will do an opening of Kiki Pop in another video um these ones I may show the um, dressing up on them in other videos but uh certainly for things like my Luna Luna Bells, Lena Bells I should say, and my Stella Lou um, that I got from Disneyland. I'm not going to show those in individual things. I also got them the 40th anniversary clothes, which were gorgeous. And of course I fangirled with some of my favourite um, anime characters and manga characters. It's Katarina from my, um, when she reincarnated as a visit thing. Harry Potter ones, Pop Marts, which were cute. Yeah, a lot of stuff and Starbucks. <laughs> because I love Starbucks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Let me know which doll was your favorite or which clothing really took your eye. Um, of course, ask any questions. Would I, if someone was to ask me, would I recommend Japan as a place to visit? Absolutely. If you are doll orientated, if you're anime orientated, if you're manga orientated, if you're cute orientated, Japan has it all, especially in the Akihabara area. Love you guys. Glad to be back. See you in the next video. Bye bye.